in Jeremiah chapter 18 were a part of an amazing object lesson that God has given to Jeremiah that speaks so powerfully of how God works in our lives. So I welcome you again today to this moment around God's word and prayer. In obedience to the Lord, uh, Jeremiah has gone to sit in a potter's house, just sit there and watch him work for a while. And as he works, God begins to give life truths to Jeremiah by what this potter does with the clay. And we, we learned about the clay yesterday as, as, as the potter began to work that mighty and wonderful and marvelous work in, uh, in, in the shape of that clay until something very earthy becomes something very glorious. This is God's plan in our lives. In fact, in verse 5 of Jeremiah 18, it said, the, the word of the Lord came to me as I was watching the potter in this way. Can I not do with you, Israel, as the potter does? For like clay in the hands of the potter, you are in my hands, Israel. Maybe that's something we could just carry with us all day today or the rest of this week. We all are like clay in the hand of the potter. And, and God says, like clay in the potter's hands, so are you in my hand. This gives me great hope. I'm, I'm not great at self-improvement all by myself. But there is a sovereign God who has a created design for my life and for your life. We, we may not always know the, what, what the end shape of our life will be. We may not know the extent of the influence of God's grace through our lives, but we are clay in the potter's hands. Like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hands, he says to his people. That makes me th think of Psalm 40 in verse 5, where, where the psalmist writes, Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done. And then he links God's wonders to God's plan for our lives. Many are the wonders you've done, the things you have planned for us. You know, when we're in the middle of process, when, when, when God, the master potter, shaping our lives, having to press, having to, ha having to break us down sometimes and, and try again as he works around um, our hearts and our resistance, you know, sometimes when we're midway through, we, we can't see what the end product is going to be. But the master potter does. We're like clay in his hands. But as every artist does, he has a picture in his or her mind of what the end product will be. And as we're in God's hands like clay, he has a picture of what he's trying to create in every one of our lives. Don't despair. You may not know that picture again. And you may only feel the pressure of him working, re reworking, and pressing you as clay, but he is shaping something wonderful in your lives. And because... He is shaping you because you are the clay in his hands, turning into something glorious. Um, God, God carries great delight for us as his people. We feel this if you've ever written a great essay and it just gives you joy in your heart. Why? Because that's your creation. Maybe you painted a great picture. Maybe you've had a child. Why, why is that child different than the, the, than the millions of other children in the world? Because it's yours. You helped create that child or you helped adopt that child. I mean, there's something that, that, that we just delight in when, when, what, when what we've created with our hands is indeed ours. And look what it says in Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 17. The Lord your God is with you, the prophet said. Uh, he's the mighty warrior who saves, and he will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice. He will rejoice over you with singing. This is the heart of the master craftsman. He creates something beautiful in our lives out of something very earthy and clayish. And he presses it and he puts it in the fire, in the kiln, and, and it comes out and it just shines as an object of beauty. This is what God's doing in our lives. He has that design in his mind ahead of time. And when that begins to unfold in our lives, there's no telling. Words can't express the joy of God's heart. We talk about our joy in knowing the Lord, but this is the joy of God's heart in us because we are the creation of his hands. And it's interesting that in, 
in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17, Paul says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. Not the new renovation, but the new creation has come. We're, we're clay in the potter's hands. And in Jesus, he's recreating us into something of beauty. So, Father, we thank you. If we've not said yes to Jesus, we, we say yes to you today. And though all of us are midway, we don't know what the end product is in our lives. We just say, Lord, let your creative genius continue to work in us. And, and, and it's hard to understand that you would, that you would rejoice over us with singing, that you delight in us, but we are the work of your hand. We're your masterpieces. And just keep shaping us, Lord, and keep releasing your creative power, making us new from the inside out, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.